We've got the sleeve lubed up already. Slide it onto the shaft. Line your keyway up with the existing keyway. You want to slide your stationary gland on there. You got your rotating or your stationary seal already pre-lubed. Slide that on. You've got your seal. Sleeves lubed up. A little bit of lube on the inside rubber of your seal without touching the faces of the seal with your fingers. Slide that on. Get it up out of your way. You want to slide your spring and retainer on there. Now one thing we have done, show this, the throttle bushing has already been pressed into the housing. Now, everything here is ready. Take your housing, get your bolts ready. You just need to go in? No. Gotcha, gotcha. Once you've got your housing on here, your four bolts tightened up, slide your rot or your stationary up in there. Get it to go in. Whoops. All right. Get your gland up on it. Get your gland bolts in there. got your gland up on there your bolts in it you can push that in there tighten them up with your fingers tighten up the other side take a wrench snug them up as tight as you can get them having the right wrench bolts as tight up onto the gland as you can get them without just cranking them real hard. Got your gland tightened up all the way. That's good. All right. Now you get your keyway slid in. There's a slot in the sleeve that it goes into. And you've got your spacer piece that goes over the shaft, slides in. Your Impeller will go on and it backs up onto that spacer piece and it's what sets the load on your seal 
composite. Now once you've got your impeller on there, put your impeller bolt in it and lock it down. Once you've got your impeller good and tight, you're done. Put the front cover on with the gasket and it's together the way it goes.